You know what I like, guys? I like books. But more importantly, I like books that have pictures in them, like art books. But most importantly, the, my favorite kind of books are mangas that include Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So we're gonna start off this video with a quick opening of the Zexel manga. Uh, here we go. Get rid of this packaging. I ordered three off of Amazon. I have an Amazon Prime account, which is really nice. So I got the the day of shipping. I believe they still have stock. Usually a, a card this good usually sells out really quickly. Kind of like, kind of reminds me of the days of uh, Thunder King. I have like, I, I still have eight of those, uh, those uh, GX. Yeah, I believe I still have eight of the GX books. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I got the manga. Oh, there's the card. Utopia. The lightning. Let's get this bad boy sleeved up. There. The brothers. All right, now that we're done unwrapping the card out of the manga, so what does this mean for the card game itself? I'll start off with who's going to run this card. Basically, any deck that has access to rank 4s will have a copy of Utopia ready to slap this card on top. And why wouldn't they? This card is basically a 5k Armades that outs any big beatstick monsters, including some of the tower-esque monsters, which I would like to call the tower spawns, like Magnus or Ultimate Falcon. These guys can't stand a chance against this Utopia Lightning. Other kinds of impacts will be some players may or may not choose to go the fun deck route of running Utopia-centered rank 4s. What I mean by that is they'll be running copies of Xyz Change Tactics as their draw engine, and they'll put Utopia, and then put a Utopia S Prime Utopia, and then putting U Lightning on top, which will net them a total of three draws for a total of 1,500 life points. That is actually quite significant, because I guess they get a different draw engine, and they also get a 5k beat stick. But that means their extra deck won't have as much utility, but they do have the capability of killing you just through raw damage. Now one very, very significant change in the game state is you can no longer leave weenie monsters without backing them with legitimate traps. What I mean by that is, okay, for my example, I'll use Monarchs. If my opponent summons out an idea and tries to get the effect and I Veiler it, now he has left a weenie attack mode monster. And all I have to do is make a Utopia Lightning and attack it Detach two during the damage step, and boom, I have dealt 4,200 damage to his face. Not only that, he can't respond to it because basically it has the Armades effect. So that's a really, really big impact. So you can't leave weak sauces on board anymore, Veilers. Even for Burning Abyss, you can't leave your Graph in attack mode because if he attacks into it, first off, you're not gonna get the special summon because you, no card effect can activate during his attack while he has a Utopia monster attached to him. So Graph will die for free, you're gonna take 4k to the face, which 4k is not a small number by any means. It's like taking a fist of fate by obelisk. Now here's some other things for you to consider. Now it outs big monsters, like you know how, oh towers got banned, oh okay. But then Konami decided to give us Magnus from like Super Quantum. And uh, of course there's also the other dude from Raid Raptors. Uh, Ultimate Falcon. These guys are tower spawns. These cards are basically towers with a different face. But Utopia the Lightning basically can just run over them without any problem, for the most part. So I'm gonna go over the prices of these cards right now. Of course this card just came out, it's like, you can probably pick up one of these uh, Utopia Lightnings about 15 bucks, maybe even less right now but of course this card potentially will spike up once the copy of the card discontinues so that's something to keep in mind but okay let's look at prices of utopia the card that's directly related to this well utopia still remain to be a one dollar card surprisingly the shatterfoil is about three dollars on troll and toad sorry not shatterfoil starfoil Ooh. But there is one copy of Utopia that did spike up above the $10 range, and that is the Dual Terminal Super Rare. That card spiked up in January, actually. Actually, kind of tanked a little, but uh, it is $13 or more. 
Now, obviously this card is gonna see play, so I do expect that there's gonna be tons of results that will be coming from this card, and this card will generate probably a lot of random OTKs for anyone that's not prepared for it. So just a few little questions I'm gonna leave you off before I sign off here. Uh, do you think towers should come back? I mean, we got big towers and even bigger towers. Why shouldn't the original towers come back? Sure, he's searchable, and you know, back then we already had outs, but now we just have the way better out version that is very, very cheap on resources. And of course, do you guys actually like this card being available in the TCG, or do you think like, oh, it, like it's just another OTK card? Did you guys manage to get your copy of Utopia's The Lightning? Anyways, leave every single thing that you want to talk about Utopia down below in the comment section. And uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe to MST.TV for weekly videos, even though this is uh, kind of a bit of a surprise video. And as always, don't forget to hold on to your MST.TV.